I'll just go onto the website and I'll show you step by step how to apply and what to fill in each form and what kind of references are required in each in each section. So I'll, I'll, I'll go through the instructional video now that I made that shows you everything from the website, where to click, where to apply, how to register, and then um, follow all of the steps there that are there. So um, let me go through the instructional video now. Uh, okay guys, so if you click in the link um, that I have in the bio, it should take you here to the Kenyon Collins um, Educational Legal and Science Trust, which is where the link where you'll find. What I like about this is that you'll find, you know, a uh, few more scholarship. That's why I, I, I chose this link. So you'll find a few more scholarship like for Angolan uh, citizens, for Botswana citizens, Eswatini, Lesotho, Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, uh, South Africa, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. So all everyone can basically check what scholarships are here. So we are interested in the South African scholarships, which is if you hover around there or you just click there, it shows you whether you want to apply for postgrad, undergrad, you know, island in the UK. So even undergrads that are looking at this, if you want to study overseas and you're doing undergrads, you can basically see they are different scholarships that you can apply for and then for postgrads as well you can attend soul plaggy you can apply for soul plaggy scholarship and the other one and then for the kid asthma fellow fellowship one based on the history that i explained previously it's um relevant in ireland so you go to, to ireland but you can also you know check the uk there's the commonwealth uh common sorry about that uh the commonwealth uh, scholarship under the UK or online scholarship as well. So here you can basically check uh, all other scholarships that are available in case you're interested in studying anywhere else in the country apart from Ireland. But in this video, we are focusing only on Ireland. So you click on Ireland and you go to Keda Asmal Fellowship. Now there's there's um, there's two ways that you could you could you could also get here. You can basically just go to Google and just uh, Google Keda Asmal you know, Fellowship and the internet is kind of slow in my house and you can see I, I, I access these links a lot but just click the first one that comes up and it will basically the summary that i tried to give um it, it's basically here all the all the history behind the kid asthma the the link you can also you know you will also take you to the link that i've put in the in the in the in the uh the the bio of the view of the video or in the comment section of the video of, of this video and it also shows you those eligi eligibility requirements that i that i mentioned about so you can access it better that way um the link is here that way and you can also see you know there's case studies of people that have you know al alumni the alumni of uh of the kid asthma fellowship you can see what they experienced when they were studying in ireland and what it has done to change their lives so that's another way to get to this. You can go to alumni and different colleges and country partners, contact and everything that you need. But basically to apply, this is where you will need to go. And this is all the information about the scholarship. If you access the website, you will be able to find all of this information. So I'm not gonna go through it. But there's two important documents here. Please see this document attached for a full list of eligible documents. So click that and open the new tab. And then the same, do you, do you qualify, you know, are you eligible? So click there and also check uh, the guidelines open new link in, in, in tab so again here they emphasize the requirements because you need to meet this requ these requirements and i think if you're not sure you can also email them and, and ask maybe like you know what exactly does this mean the great average point of 75 me and check make sure that you meet that so these are the fees that they offer the university application fees situation fees examination fees the economy travel from and to your country so they also pay for us when we go back home and when we come to ireland settling in allowance when you arrive into the country so you can buy books and you can you know study and be able to survive for the first month while you're trying to open a bank account uh, a monthly personal living stipend to cover your living expenses for you only and then the cost of doing a, a visa i will make another video on how to to do the immigration you know visa once you get here but the good thing is south african students you do not need a visa to enter into ireland for three months but obviously to stay here and study longer you do need to you know apply for the study visa but other than that you don't need so one thing that i did notice though is this link does not work here so if you, in case you try to click here and it doesn't open that doesn't work i don't know why but to go to the application form you're gonna have to click there but before we go there, these two documents are important. It's 132 pages. You don't have to go through all of it. Uh, just read the introductions and they'll tell you basically 
what all of this means about the, um, the English language profi proficiency and all of that. And then these are all the universities in Ireland. I'm studying at the University of uh, Limerick there and their websites. So you can look, uh, check them out and see which university you like and where you want to, you want to apply. This is just a map of, you know, Ireland and, and the cities across the country. So from there, this, so they are divided into categories, agriculture, environmental conservation, all of that. There's all of these types of masters you have to choose and then you can see where it's offered. You can go to the courses website and view it from there. So everything is there basically, they've made it up for you. Different, you know, food science, pharmacy, health, all of those. So you need to go through this document and choose which university you want to go and which course you want to do because that is entirely up to you. And then this is the, the requirements program. So it's all about you know, what personal information they need. They will need the benefits of studying in Ireland, you know, the Keda Asma Fellowship program, the history behind it, you know, the eligibility, uh, things, you know, things like that. So they explain into detail. So go through this document because I can't go through it. It will take me forever to go through this. And uh, this video is already 15 minutes long. So, okay, that's that. So now let's go through the application process. Mm, that's the so you have to click here apply okay the asthma fellowship and okay so you will have uh, to register so I'm gonna register with my details hopefully it allows me uh, yes my name is Howard <laughs> uh, that's my email gmail.com and I'm waking up in nine hours okay. and hopefully you can see my password and then let me register and see how that goes this the email enter is already registered so it seems like I have already registered but Okay, so I managed to gain access guys to my old profile and name of application. I'm just gonna say UL application. That's it. this is just for your own for your own you know preference. I'm gonna say UL application and create. Let's see. I actually did this a long time ago, so I don't know how it has changed now. Uh, you have application and then you go here applications click here to work on this application so it's basically an online application form so you have you know your personal information which you'll have to edit and then the education and then the work experience where you've worked the master's program choices that you want I think they give you two or three options yeah your first second and third option motivations you know why do you wish to be considered for a fellowship you will have to motivate there and they will tell you which documents they require in there and then declaration and submit so uh, let's go through this one the personal information so here basically you have to enter all the information it's just a form you know your title your same name first names passport date of birth gender everything that you basically need. email phone number country of residence and everything so uh, if you have any disability, again, you just input in there and then uh, just go back to safe and close page and then you go to the next one now, which is education. So what universities have you attended and which qualifications have you completed? So you have to add entry and write. So I'm just going to say the Eng electrical engineering, for example, create. Uh, then they still tell you, please note applications already in position of master's art degree are not eligible, you know. So you gotta write your bachelor's degree will be your highest name of the university, you know, when it started in 2013 or 2014 or whatever. And then your final grade, you just complete your final average and then field of study, whether it was engineering and whatever, and then just go on and say save, you know. So that's all basically you do and then you just save all of that information you can add. If you have more than one degree, you can add all of those and then add the education and then um, this one is new, I didn't see it. Okay, if you have a certificate already, you can just put it in there. You know, what is what was your what was what was your your score and, and everything. 
Yeah, so these are the four sections, the writing, the reading, where you basically read an article and, and answer questions based on it, the speaking, where you speak to a lady, and then the listening, where you, uh, you listen to speakers and you answer the questions based on what you heard. And then the writing is where you write an, an, an essay, basically on on a topic that you, you know, you've been, you've been given. So that's that. And work experience, you basically just gonna have to add where you worked, you know, saying add new entry, whether it was an internship, whether it was experience, whether you worked as a, you know, as a volunteer or whatever, just edit and then create. So you see, it's pretty much simple. And then again, go back to save and close page. And then whatever the master's program that you are choosing, and then based obviously from this document that you would have selected. And, you know, university, you will choose whatever the course that you want, where it's offered based again on that document. Full time title, other program code, it will it will be here as well, or from the university, university's page, and then second choice and your third choice. So you have to choose three three choices, and then go back now to motivations. Uh, so here they ask you in 250 words or less, please describe why you are applying for the fellowship. You know, so you here you have to tell them why are you applying for the scholarship? Why do you want? You know why should they consider you for this scholarship why are you applying for it why, what is it going to do for you and your country maybe and your family whatever reasons that you may have whether you want to study overseas you want to improve the lives of your family you want to improve the lives of your fellow citizens say maybe you want to do law and you want to practice law from a foreign country so you can learn you know to implement new policies or things like that just write in 250 weights so it's remember to stick to that limit um so that that will be the motivation it's up to you and then documentation uh file names should not contain okay so you must supply okay they want a certified id page of your passport you must have a passport certified copies of your degree and certificates that you have your academic uh, record or transcript certified as well you need to certify the police station they will require those they need them to be certified every single page because otherwise they will not accept them. And then um, extra, if you have a certificate, you can attach that. So at first, that's those are the three documents that it seems they they require. So it's actually uh, much easier. With us last time, they requested a lot of things like letters of recommendation. They may request that during the application. I don't know. And then, you know, how did you hear about Keda, Keda Asma? So you will say you heard from Ishmael, which is and one of the alumni, or you saw it on Facebook or you heard it online. It's entirely up to you what you want to write there and then you just give permission and certify and then form complete and submit you know you can even download it so you can see what it's like after you're done and you can check where the missing data is and so that's it basically from there you send that application actually they've made it easy there's not that many things as much like last time and remember to check uh, these guidelines here when you are clicking in the in the app. So, I'm um, sorry this is video is long. I hope that it will be shorter, but it's long now. So, but I hope it's helpful and I hope this makes it easy for you to, you know, to apply for, for the scholarship and follow the process. So, thank you for watching and I hope you guys do apply for the scholarship and it will change your life because you get to experience the world in ways that you've never thought. Living overseas is amazing. Studying overseas is amazing. You would have seen my video on culture shocks, things that you take for granted you realize here are not that simple you know you get to experience winter you get to experience snow you get to see a lot of things that you also not see at your home country or those that you take for granted from home but when you get here you clearly miss them like the sun for example so it's one of the best opportunity you pay to study overseas for one full year from september to september for free all you need to do basically is pass and commit and study and adhere to the terms and conditions of the scholarship and then a year later you get the master's qualification and then you back home to your home country and then you use it to empower other people and to improve your country so that's it from me on this video and i'm sorry it took so long i hope it will be at least 15 or 20 minutes but it's longer now and i uh, thank you for watching and hopefully you will subscribe and share this video with everyone that's interested and subscribe to my channel and like my videos and share it as well thank you for watching